I like your jacket. Thanks. <laughs> you like Rugrats? Mm -hmm. What's your name, dear? Anya. A-N-Y-A. What do you want the world to know about you, Anya? Um... I don't even know. <laughs> um, definitely don't let people peer pressure you, you know. Um, do doing things you don't want to do. Because once you start, it's hard to stop. Um, definitely very hard to stop. Um, I can't even think of <laughs> Okay, I can ask you questions, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a place to stay tonight? Today? I do, yeah. Where is that? Uh, it's on Frankfurt. Oh, okay, so you're not homeless or anything, are you? Uh, no, not anymore, no. Oh, that was great. Yeah. How long have you been out here now in the struggle? Um, I guess a couple years now. A couple years. So you, would, would you say that you are stuck down here? Um... Stuck in my ways, yeah. I mean, I guess like stuck because I moved down here with the car and then it got um, it broke. So I guess I mean I've tried, you know, to like I guess get out, or you know, or but it's it's tough. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of friends, so you know it's hard to do it like on your own, you know. Where is your family? Um, they're in Westchester. Do you stay in touch? Uh, not really, no. Um, I, was, I was adopted, so, um, from Russia. Oh, wow. When I, uh, yeah, when I was eight. Um, and, you know, they were, like, really abusive and stuff, so I just don't really keep, touch with them, keep in touch with them. Um, well, I, I remember it was, I didn't know, like, any English, you know, so everything was just confusing, obviously. It's like, um, you know, I was in an orphanage in Russia, so, you know, um, I wasn't used to, you know, like family and like, you know, being taken care of and like, you know, being fed. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but um, it was really extreme down there. When I was, because I learned English in like a year. Um, I mean, I was, um, I was always like teased by kids, you know, like in, at the orphanage and here. Because um, I was like really small for my age. I like I was five. <laughs> um, but. It's not easy. What are you struggling out here with, substance-wise? Uh, I guess with um, uh, fat, the fentanyl. Is that the only struggle you're having? Um, yeah, struggle. I'm mean, still just like you know, like meeting good people. Still, you know, like still being like led down the, like the wrong road. You know. Um, I met some good few ones, like a few good ones, but not a lot of worse ones. So would you say peer pressure is what brought you down this road? Yeah. Man, you're not alone. A lot of us can relate to that. How were you introduced to fentanyl? Um, well, it was, um, my, um, my ex, he just like put a line out, and I thought it was because I, I, what I used to do Percocets, you know, and then um, it was I couldn't, you know, like I guess he couldn't find them, so I thought it was you know Percocet, it was crushed up, and then you know he was told me told me it was uh, fentanyl afterwards, and then you know at first like I only do it a little bit, and then it's like the more you do this hard, the harder it is to you know stop, so. Um, and you just got. Stuck after that. Yeah. Do you shoot it the first time or do you snort it? Um, I snorted. I tried shooting, um, but uh, it, was, the, 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 it was it was bad from that. So like I just had to stop. So I just you know when um just sniffed it. Um, but it's still you know definitely just as hard as if you shoot it. Yeah, absolutely. What's the Highest level of education you completed? Uh, some college. Wow, that's amazing, right? <laughs> that's awesome. Now you're out here in Kensington. What is it like 
in your life 24 hours? I always like wondering if I'm gonna be sick, you know, or if I'm gonna be okay. Um, just, just the constant, just like, just worrying all the time, you know, the constant anxiety, like. It's bad out here, right? Yeah. What do you do for work? Um, well, I, uh, I clean, um, and, you know, I like babysit sometimes, um, but it's, it's not really, I got, I have been waiting for my license, my duplicate, um, you know, so it's, I'm trying to get a job without that. How are you going to get a job with a full-time job already, like Fetting, though? Because that's a full-time job. How are you going to maintain working? Because you know that job, that on um, that drug puts you to sleep. Xylazine is in an animal tranquilizer. You know that, right? Yeah. Trank. So how are you going to work? You're going to be nodding off. Well, it's definitely going to be better than, you know, doing what I do now. What do, you, what do you do now? Well, it's just not, it's just not like constant, you know, it's just, um... You do dates, no judgment, it's just education. Um... I mean, sometimes. Okay, I hear you. Um... So, what's the worst thing that you have seen or that has happened to you since you've been out here? Well, I was like held hostage and like had a gun pointed at me. Wow, give yeah. us a backstory. Huh? Give us a backstory, you know, how it went down. Well, um, um, met, uh, you know, some guy and, um, he seemed normal at first, you know. Um, and, I don't know, I just, like, out of, like, we were just hanging out, and out of nowhere, you know, he just, like, switched up. You know, he just, like, was just, like, totally different, and I don't know whether he was high or something. Um, I don't know, it's just, I don't really talk about it, but, um. Mm -hmm. It's hard to talk about, right? Yeah. At least you got away, right? Yeah, I know, thank God. How long ago that was? I was like six months ago. Have you seen that person since? Mm -mm. Can you give, give us a description of the car or what he looked like so other girls can be aware? Uh, well, he was, it was a car, it was, um, it was like an SUV, I think. It was like a black SUV. Um, and uh, he was like an older, uh, um, black guy in his like 50s, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like very charming and like um, definitely like you 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 wouldn't like expect it, you know, cause just because I just go by like the energy I get from someone, you know, before mm -hmm. I talk to them or whatever. Yeah. But. I got you, I got you. So, in, in 24 hours, how much do you make out here, money-wise, to take care of you? Uh, I mean, at least like 200 or over. To stay well? Yeah, I mean, just to like have, you know, like cigarettes and food and like. Yeah. You know. Do you miss your life before you got in addiction? Yes, for sure. <laughs> what was it like? Uh, well, I was just, you know, just working. Um, actually taking care of other people, like my family, you know. Um, just, you know, I was just working out, you know, just did, did like regular stuff, you know, like, 
went out to eat, wasn't always worried about, you know, like being sick. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't always have to watch my back, you know? Yeah. So. Will you say drugs ruin your life? Yeah, for sure. What advice would you give to people who are coming down this road? Can I go next? Oh my God, yeah. Go that, yeah, yeah, I remember you, but you're yeah. my God. We'll be done in like yeah. five minutes, all right? <laughs> yeah, so what were we talking about? I used to what advice would you give to people? Yeah, what advice would you give to people who are coming down this, this road that you're on? Um, you definitely don't let peer, people peer pressure you. Um, and just, I mean, you have to like have like a good self-control. I mean, like, um, that was not everyone. Not everyone's your friend, you know. And it's, um, it might take a lot for you to you know, get to that point, or you know, I've been sick and tired of being sick and tired, you know. So, so would you or, like, say you reach your rock bottom now? Um, I mean, probably plenty of a lot of times, but. It's, I guess, yeah, I guess you could say that. Do you want to get off the streets and try to fight and beat your addiction? Um, yeah, I do. I mean, I'm almost to that point, you know, where it's, it's like enough. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. you know why you have to get out now? There is a new drug called nitazine, but the street name for it is called Frankenstein, and it's 40 times more powerful than fentanyl. So imagine the withdrawal that people are getting from fentanyl and they continue to use it because they don't want to feel sick. But with nitazine, you're gonna basically be a slave to it because if it's 40 times more powerful than fentanyl, you'll have to shoot it more often to not get sick. So are you scared when you hear about stuff like that? Yeah, for sure. So it's dangerous, right? Yeah. So you have to get out while you can. Have you had any clean time? Um, yeah, it was 11 days. That's beautiful. How, yeah. do, you, how do you stay clean for 11 days? Uh, well, I, I just, um, just like get away from it, you know, and just it's like every day was like worse than the last. It just it doesn't really get better. Um, I guess because I, I wasn't like it wasn't like in rehab, you know. So um, you know what we was talking about. Um, anyway, we both forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened when we out here when we get distracted. So we about to wrap things up, all right? Have you used like the real heroin, the brown dope, before it turned into fat and all? Yeah, I mean what? that that's like the real shit, you know. Like it definitely lasts longer and like and um that's when I was um when I shot it, and I fell asleep though because it was so strong, you know. Um, but it's not, not like nothing's like real out here anymore, you know. For sure. Okay. When was the last time you had some fat in all today? Um, it was actually uh, last night. So you haven't had some since this morning? Mm -mm. Wow. So in a, in 24 hours, how many you know bags do you use? Um. Do you maybe like six? Okay. Like the whole day, yeah. So what type of advantage does fentanyl give you? Well, I mean, it's, you know, so I don't, so I don't feel sick, you know. Um, it's just basically so I feel better, so I can just, you know, do what I'm like. Makes I try you normal? Well, right? Yeah. So it doesn't get you high anymore? Mm-mm. Sucks, right? Yeah. That's why you gotta get out because you just 
Do you suffer from any abscess because it, it's tearing people's skin up? The, the, the xylazine? Uh, no, because I just sniff it, so it's... Oh, all right, right. Yeah. But you know, sniffing too is also bad because if it's bad injecting, imagine sniffing also, you can lose your your thing inside your nose. I have heard people burn out their nostrils and all those things, you know? Oh, uh, really? Yeah, it's not... Oh, shit. Yeah, so... You just gotta do the best you can and try to get out of here, dear. There are a lot of resources that's available. Are you aware of them? They got the mobile trucks everywhere now. Yeah. So, do you think you'll be ready to take that step soon? Um. Hopefully, you know, I can. I can say I can, I'll, I can, I'll do it, but you know, so I can just do the best I can. Yeah. Absolutely. But that'll be better than I was, but you know, mm -hmm. hopefully, you know, next up is that I can just, you know, leave this life. Right. Absolutely. Because you deserve great things in life. Because I'm looking at you right now, you know, you're going through the struggle. I know this is not the real you. How much you used to weigh before? Uh, the 30 more pounds. <laughs> 30 more pounds? Yeah. So the drugs has affected your appearance a lot, would you say? Right, right. Let's get off topic and we're done, okay? What's your zodiac sign? Uh, Gemini. Yo, shout out to all the Geminis out there. Show your son some love. Yes. When you was a little girl, what do you want to become when you grow up? Um, well, I like doing um everything. Is um, I mean, even now, like, I know how to do a little bit of everything, you know? Like, I just would start something and I didn't really know how to, like, finish, you know? Because mm -hmm. I would, like, find something else that I was curious about. Um, but I was always like an artist, a really artistic person, oh. you know, like did makeup and like fashion wow. and um, like singing, yeah, um, and, and like cooking and stuff, you know. Wow, you have some really good gifts, and if you get yourself together, it will take you so much higher in life than where you're on right now. I hope so. I mean, mm -hmm. you got it inside of you. You just gotta believe you and love you more. Because if you don't love you more, it's not gonna work. That's the only yeah. thing, you know. Yeah. Do you have a? Do you have? What are some of your favorite foods? Um, I like burgers and pasta. Um, um Chinese food. <laughs> That's a classic, right? Yeah. If you have friends or your family see this video, what message would you like to send to them? Um. Well, I guess say that um, they always say that you know that they're there for me, but like you know when it push when push comes to shove, you know they were never there. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'd actually be there this time if I actually like ask for help, you know? Yeah, Abs absolutely. What are your short-term goals now? Um, well, still trying to, um, you know, get a get a better job, um, but get a better support system. Okay. For sure, yeah. Do you have children? No. Nope. Okay. This one. Do you love animals? Mm hmm If you could be any animal, what animal would you be? Um, I think a cheetah. Thank you, brother. Yeah, why you want to be a cheetah? Uh, just because I was, I used to do, you know, track and like, I was a really fast runner, so the fastest animal in the world, you know. Um, and they're just really pretty animals. I just, um, they're just like quick, you know. I'm always just like quick, always just walk fast, like do everything fast. Right. So I just, I don't know. That's awesome. If you had three wishes, what would your three wishes be? Um, 
I guess uh, be able to like, do anything I want, you know, and uh, just basically like start a new day over again, just um, and just basically just do anything I want, you know. Okay. This one to take us home. There are a lot of people in this world who judge people who are struggling with addiction. What's your message for the world? Um, yeah, I mean, you can't really judge someone until you've been in their place. Cause you don't, you don't know what it's like, what someone else's life is like, you know, just like you can try to know, but you can't really know until you've gone through the same thing, you know? Yeah. Anything else you want the world to know about you? Um, uh, that just, you know, I guess just pray for me. And, uh, cause I am a Christian. Um, I just, you know, like that, that God's help I am able, you know, to stop. Amen. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, guys, pray for our girl. We clocking now. I want to tell her thank you so much for her time. She's a part of the AML family now, and I want to give you your card. I want you to know that you matter and to never quit on you, all right? Is there anything you're in need of that we can help you with before we shut down? Um, just prayer, Okay. you know. All right, AML family, keep her in your prayers. Please drop positive comments, guys. Please, positive comments. Remember, don't be bitter, be better. Until next time, we out there. Peace out.